relationship with Anthony is he is my corazón, uh, I am his wife. Anthony and I are husband and wife and we do everything together. We are really involved in each other's lives. Um, where he goes, I go. Where I go, he goes. Never will you meet someone more passionate or that cares more about people than Anthony. He um, gives everything 100% when he, you know, says he wants to get involved in anything or really wants to, um, you know, make an impact. He is in it 110%. Some examples is why I, I feel like he should get this award and, and really shows the passion that Anthony has for the community and how he cares about people. Um, an example is years ago he went to a school, a teacher had asked him to speak at a school and she shared with him you know, the language barriers that she had with her children and the needs that they just really, they, they didn't have the funds or anything to be able to communicate properly with each other. So Anthony came home and and you know, it really weighed on him and he said, you know what, I'm gonna buy this entire class iPads and help this teacher to, to help this language barrier. And she was just beside herself and, and just the impact that, just that one small thing. Um, so when Anthony really gets his mind into something or you know, really gets involved in something, he goes at it 110%. Another example is, um, you know, a couple years ago, he was at a stoplight in downtown Tampa and, you know, had an interaction with a homeless man and was not able to offer them anything except an umbrella. And Anthony tells the story so much better than I do, but that's, you know, that really weighed on him and the impact that it had with him and the homeless man um, really stayed with him. And so he came home that night and said, you know, I have to do something about this. And for years it stayed with him, like I need to, I need to do something, I need to make an impact. Um, here we are in 2022 and Covered Hearts was born based on Anthony just when he gets his mind on something and gets set on something, he just is in it all the way and won't stop until he makes an impact. If he was standing right here, you know, I would probably say, you know the saying of um, behind every good woman there's an amazing man and I know that's not really the saying, I know it's in reverse. but. That is definitely the truth with Anthony. He is an amazing person. Um, he inspires, he motivates, he lifts up anyone that he is around and that he touches. Um, and I'm so proud of him and our family is so proud of him. Anthony's tireless efforts in the community, in the Hispanic community, his involvement with the different organizations such as Hispanic Heritage, the USF uh, Latino Foundation, the Mayor's Hispanic Advisory Council, the list goes on. Just his general involvement in the community, his, uh, his efforts, his time, his caring, his true, true caring for the Hispanic community. Again, I think has paid uh, huge dividends to the community. Anthony, it's an honor, it's a blessing to know you, to call you friend, colleague, community partner. I look forward to a long-term relationship to continue as a friend. I look forward to our continued uh, talks about family, about the community, and how we can do more to help the community. And again, it's a true honor to call you a friend. Uh, Tony, or I guess Anthony and I, met each other back in high school. We played um, baseball throughout our high school career, and then we went to University of Central Florida together. We were freshman, freshman year. We were roommates of freshman year. And then we grew up together through college, and uh, so that's my relationship with Tony. Should I call him Anthony? I gotta remember to call him Anthony. On a personal level, I've looked up to Anthony throughout his whole life, and I think at points in times, he's probably looked up to me. We have um, a relationship that's built on trust, and, um, and we're always there for each other. Throughout our lives, uh, through thick and thin, through ups and downs, we've always been, we've had a relationship that um, we're, we're, we're not best friends, we're, we're, we're close to being best friends with each other. Anthony deserves this honor because he genuinely cares about people. He always puts others before self. He is somebody that goes above and beyond to take care of his, to take care of his community and his people. He's, um, you know when Anthony walks in the room, he just has that presence, he has that gift. He just cares about people. And, and ever since I've known Tony, or ever since I've known Anthony, uh, he's been somebody that I just always admired how he lights up a room where when people come uh, experience Anthony, uh, they're better because they had a relationship and a conversation with Anthony. Well, if Anthony wasn't here right now, first of all, I'd call him TP, 
TP is what he actually used to call him, but I call, I tell Anthony um, that I'm proud of you. Uh, you have done some amazing things and you're helping so many people. And not only are you a great community leader, a business professional, you're a great dad, you're a great um, husband, you're a great son, and uh, I admire how you carry yourself, how you've overcome adversity, how you continue to, to uh, how you continue to just live a life by design and not by default. And I'm grateful for you and our relationship and our friendship, and I'm proud of you. You are a, you're an unbelievable human being and you're gonna help a lot of people in this world. I have known Anthony for many years, but our relationship grew stronger when he was elected to serve on the Board of Directors of the USF Latin Community Advisory Committee, which houses the Latino Scholarship Program. Uh, this program is very near and dear to my heart. Anthony is the current chair of this committee, and under his leadership, this committee continues to flourish. Just last week, the committee gave away 156 scholarships to USF Hispanic students. Anthony has an extensive and impactful history with the Hispanic community. In addition to being chair of the USF Latin Community Advisory Committee, Anthony serves on the board and is a past chair of the, of the mayor's Hispanic Advisory Council. Anthony also serves on the Udell Christian Clinic, which provides free and quality health care to Hispanics, among others, in our community. A marathon is 26.2 miles. You have to run nonstop. I have always admired people who run marathons because it's a true test of determination and endurance. Unbeknownst to many people, Anthony is a, mar a marathon man. Okay. He doesn't look like a marathon man, but he is. And he participated and was a finisher in the city of Chicago Marathon in 2019. And it is now he's scheduled to participate in this year's New York City Marathon on November the 6th, where he plans to raise funds for his, one of his favorite charities, Girls on the Run. Anthony Perez, I wish you the best. You are not only a proud, impactful Hispanic, but you are also a champion. Anthony, I know this is a pre-recorded video, but I know that you, Sarah, and your kids look beautiful this evening because you always do. Anthony has served as a mentor for me when I first stepped into the Mayor's Hispanic Advisory Council. He gave me guidance and tips on how to lead uh, a team effectively, uh, not just for me uh, to build my own strengths and skill sets, but how to lead others, how to influence, motivate, and inspire others to do great things uh, through our council. On a personal level, uh, Anthony is a, is a excellent businessman, excellent community service leader, and above all, a role model, husband, and a father. But one of the greatest accomplishments that I can think of uh, that Anthony has done uh, to yield an immense positive impact on our Hispanic community was his role in helping create the DALE initiative. DALE in Spanish means go for it, uh, but for the Mayor's Hispanic Advisory Council, it's also an acronym that stands for Development Accelerator for Latinos' Education. And Anthony not only helped provide ideas to create this initiative, but provided an exemplary example of follow through in bringing this project to fruition. Anthony funded a couple of these projects on his own, and he led a team of young students to the downtown area where they met with various uh, diverse leaders, uh, including uh, our very own Mayor Jane Castor. Now, by now, uh, most of you may have heard of Anthony's uh, keynote speech on the beautiful people. When Anthony was a child, uh, his uncle in Chicago took him to the downtown district and pointed out people that were coming to and from work wearing suits. And his uncle mentioned to Anthony, he says, Anthony, says, when you grow up, I want you to be like these beautiful people so that you don't have to go through the challenges in life that I went through. And Anthony not only became one of the beautiful people that his uncle aspired him to be, but Anthony is creating a whole new generation of beautiful people with these young folks that he's mentoring and influencing out there. 
Thank you, my friend, for everything that you've done out there for our community and everything that you continue to do. I'm very, very proud of you for what you've accomplished. I hope you have a wonderful evening tonight with your family, and I look forward to the many other successes that I know you're going to bring about for the future of the city of Tampa. Thank you.